step by step. So the first thing we're going to do, step number one, replace f of x. Well, now we're not dealing with a g of x. I'm sorry, it says replace g of x. Now we're not dealing with, we're dealing with the g of x. We're dealing with an f of x. It doesn't matter. The same process can apply. Replace f of x with y. OK? Step two, swap the variables. Step three, solve for y. Now we have a couple of steps, right? So now we need to use our inverse operations and our, I'm sorry, our reverse order of operations and inverse operations. So the first thing we always undo is addition and subtraction. So to undo a subtraction is I add an 8 to both sides. So I have x plus 8 equals negative 5 thirds y. It's just a mathematical technical term. So now we have a negative 5 thirds times y. Does anybody know how to get rid of that? So what is the reciprocal of negative 5 over 3? Huh? Yeah, well, if the, you could multiply by the positive. I would recommend multiplying it by the negative, just so then the negative signs are going to make it your y positive, right? Because you always want your y to be positive. So yes, you're going to want to multiply by the reciprocal of 5. Now, inverse would be right for the multiplicative inverse, but sometimes it's not always the case for inverses. So you multiply that on both sides. All right. Therefore, you could uh, distribute that, which why not? Let's do that. So therefore, I'd have a negative 3x over 5. And this is going to be minus 24 over 5 equals y. Or y equals negative 3x over 5 minus 24 over 5. Then our last step is replace y for g of negative 3. Well, now our function is f. So we'd say f inverse of x is equal to a negative 3x over 5 minus 24 over 5. And you could combine that, if you wanted to, to equal negative 3x minus 24 over 5. And then we could obviously also, you know, you could just rewrite that, factor out a 3. There's a couple different simplifying ways we can go through that. But since time is getting a little low, I'll just leave you, you know, with that answer. But you could factor out the 3, so it's just negative 3x plus 8 divided by 5. All right, one last one. 